Right guys, welcome back part to part 34, I think. Yeah, um, this part was pretty damn fun. Calm down, you policeman. Okay, so let's find ourselves a little car. Can I do that? I'll do it. Sorry, buddy. Just really need some transport. Should be fine. Should be fine. So, what we're gonna do here is, uh, can we do that mission where we've got to go with the dive here? What is this? Oh, uh, I was wondering where that orange clip was. This is the Alamo Sea. All right, yeah. I suppose we've got to go do this guy then. I thought we were going to be able to like, go diving about. So far I haven't even been able to find a fucking plane that you can go diving in. How shit is that? A uh, uh, boat, even. Have to be able to offer one of these because of a parachute. Cloud smoke. Some of Mr. Cheng's you came by, you must have seen the whole lot tougher than the guys you met then, and they uh, are eager to talk to you. Michael DeSanta has recommended you for a job, it would be prudent to come to a video as you just Where's the um upstairs maybe I take it? Yeah, it's just through here. I think. Paletto scone set up. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Fuck team fucking lucky mate, we'll get in the fucking car. Go on then, Trevor. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital. Tell him to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, well, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos. The hair. The weird music. The funny toys. The niche drugs. The everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You! are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why will be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying! Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, 
are the proto hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to paradise. Come on, cars this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Ugh. Drive us to the bank. All right. I'm just enjoying. And we'll go to the front of the bank. Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I was just enjoying some dialect there, that's why it was all quiet and shit. Alright, Blaine County Savings Bank. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm to see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Just the thing I'm Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Alright. Trevor. Race Trevor to his office. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips. Of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. 
gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm Shit. guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXBF 111 classification, minute long relay interval, third party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it, but. But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You've been day trading? No, God, no. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn Shit. after that bridge. Slow down. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas at their coast. They're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government oh, yes, increases okay. their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible. But what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County savings and loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs $2 million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Yeah, what about that? They're going to switch. It's going to take longer. Yeah. Well, I just don't do it. Yep, that's definitely longer. I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it, or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy are we talking? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Sure. Don't you dare you quick double check or something. I don't like this car! I think I may be aim to just end this episode here. Uh, probably wouldn't be. Oh, okay, I'm playing that sound so laggy right now. I've got to switch to my fucking thing to you. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I'll continue off. I'll, I'll continue when we start back up next episode. Cheers, guys. We'll see you later.